Have you ever had a, an annoying part of your photograph that you just want to remove? Well, spot removal or healing in Lightroom is simple, but it has its flaws. <music> Greetings all, and today is a little bit of a tutorial and a, a bit of a pros and cons of one of the features of Lightroom that is really good yet also really really bad. Lightroom is fantastic for your photo editing and I use it because it's so simple, it's reliable but it does have its flaws. What I'm going to do obviously today is I'm actually going to show you the way that it will work and also a way that it does not work and for you to do certain aspects you're better off using photoshop which a tutorial on that will be coming up very very soon so let's just hop over into uh, lightroom and uh, get started so here we are in uh, lightroom lightroom version 12 and i've given you the version that we've peeled because adobe have a, a tendency to move their panels around quite a bit in different versions so this is version 12 and the tool that we're actually going to be using today is this healing tool and you've got three different modes. We're actually just going to use the content aware removal for this tutorial anyway. And um, in this panel here obviously you can change the size of your tool that you're going to be using and the opacity. Leave the opacity fully up for this and and there we go. So the first thing we're going to do is on this image here is we're going to remove this little black dot here and then a bit further over here there's a few more that we're going to remove. Now I know some people might be thinking well, why do you want to remove those four? There may be times in some of your images that you've got little tiny specks and stuff like this that you're going to want to remove and for example on this one um, on Swanage, in Swanage Bay there are a lot of boys and stuff in the sea and a lot of the photographs that I do take that are out there I remove quite a lot of the boys and the reason being is because they they just it just adds a bit of clutter as opposed to being part of the photo so I remove quite a lot of them ideally if you had one or two in because say it's the sea but there are so many there that I do have a tendency to remove them so even on this one you may think well you don't really need to I probably don't but for this tutorial we are going to so the first thing we're going to do is zoom into the area and you zoom in because you you can actually see a lot easier on what you're going to remove as opposed to trying to remove a very tiny dot <laughs> it's just difficult so on the, on the healing tool we will just basically go around one click done and then you see it's gone and the software has done a superb job of removing that object let's go over here and do these few over here as well rather quickly go on go on go on and let's do these few over here as well that don't really need to be but we'll do it anyway go on go on go on and you see now it's made a, a fantastic job of doing that so the the limitations well if you was trying to remove the this whole pole it's it's actually going to struggle because it, it looks at different colors and contrasts that it can use to fill in what it is that you want to remove so on this one it, it will remove the pole and, and the top of the pole pretty well but when you get actually a lot further down it will get confused and it will look really strange and i'll show you why so if we just do this one and try and remove it okay so it's removed almost the top part of the pole and a bit of a problem at the top there that's probably i mean i could have gone a little bit higher to start with the middle bit it's done a fantastic job it's made a bit of an error here hasn't quite got the color right and it's just made a complete mess of the bottom and this is the limitations of lightroom itself of trying to remove larger objects if you're coming to remove larger objects this is where you're actually going to probably need photoshop which is designed more for that 
type of work as opposed to just a little bit of post processing here, there and so on. So that is the major limitations, is you really need to be careful of what you're trying to remove. I mean, you try to remove a person, you could probably do it, providing it's a, if it's a white background, it'll have no problems. But if you've got too many colours and contrasts, and it, it ain't gonna do it. It's really, really gonna struggle. So you have to look at what's around the photo to which one that you're actually gonna use. So there you go, guys, simple as that. And uh, hopefully that's gonna sort of give you a little bit of a, an idea of what it can do and what not to do with it. Um, just so that you can basically not make errors that stand out. But thanks for joining me on this uh, very first video in my new home. And uh, I haven't quite sort of got to grasp of where the camera's gonna be for recording and stuff like this. And I uh, hope you found this useful. Don't forget, hit subscribe, like. Until the next time, take care, stay safe. And I'll see you soon.